In this video, we will look at how you manually enroll users into a Moodle 2.0 course. When you first created the course, after going through the initial course settings and clicking Save Changes, you should be taken to an Enrolled Users page. Chances are, when you first created your course, you skipped over this page because you did not know which students would be in the course, but it is easy enough to get back to. Simply go to your course, and in the Settings block, under Course Administration, you have Users. Click the arrow to expand that submenu, and click on Enrolled Users, and you are there. Your page may be empty, or you may have your name listed as the teacher. To enrol students in your course, click on either of the Enrol Users buttons, top right or bottom left. This will bring up a pop-up window. You can see near the top of the window that the default role for assigning new users to is a student. You can change this simply by choosing another role from the drop-down menu. I'm going to stay with student. Underneath you get a list of all the users on the site. In institutions with hundreds or over a thousand users, this could be painstaking finding all of your students. However, down the bottom is a search box. Simply start typing in either the first name, last name or email address of the student you wish to enrol. Press enter and the list will show the search results. Once you find your student, simply click the Enroll button next to their name. They are now enrolled in your course and have access to it. Clear the search box and type the next name. Repeat until you have all your students added. Once you are done adding students, close the pop-up box. The page should refresh itself, but if it doesn't, click F5 on your keyboard or click the refresh button on the browser. If you gave someone the wrong role, for example, you accidentally enrolled your fellow teacher as a student, it's easy to fix. Click the Assign Role button next to their name in the list. As a teacher, you can only assign roles below the level of yours. Then remove any role they don't need by clicking the X next to it. Or, if you would like to unenroll someone completely, click the X next to the details in the Enrollment Methods column. 